Hey, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So the deal is, um, Hunter Biden, of course, is being um, prosecuted for uh, lying on his uh, application for a gun, saying he wasn't a drug addict. And um, and then I think uh, there was something about an 11-day process where he owned the gun for 11 days or there was doing 11 days. I, I, I don't know, but he's only guilty of this period that happened within 11 days. Of course, I guess when you're guilty, it doesn't matter if you were guilty for two years or if you're guilty for, for an hour, uh, you were still guilty. So there's that. So there, he's being uh, prosecuted for that. Now, the interesting thing is that Hunter Biden is punching back. So he has sued the IRS because he says two of their agents reviewed uh, or revealed uh, his personal information uh, regarding tax documents and they shouldn't have. So that's what the reading will be about. I hope you like the reading. If you like the reading, please do like the reading. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. So we'll delve into the depths of the Hunter Biden uh, saga. This deck has got a lot of extra cards in there, and I actually have a key here that helps me remember this. Let me see. Okay, so there's 86 cards in here instead of the regular um, 78, so that's one thing. But uh, anyway, so uh, I'll tell you all about this deck uh, later in the video, as a matter of fact, uh, in detail. And it's, it's a pretty interesting deck. And I think you'll enjoy uh, looking at it because uh, they're, they're interesting cards to see. I hope they show up well on the camera. But anyway, so Hunter Biden. I guess, what, uh, is the lawsuit going to be successful against him? That's the first thing, is, is the, the lawsuit uh, charging him? Uh, with the felony of lying, I think it's felony, of lying on his uh, gun um, application. And then there's those other charges of, of cheating or for income tax fraud, I believe. And uh, many, uh, or I guess some lawyer somewhere is saying, I don't want to be like Trump. Many people, no, somebody has said that, uh, and apparently of good standing, has said that, you know, this is sort of a case that a regular person wouldn't be brought. Which is a flip, because usually... Uh, the uh, influential people get away with stuff but no so this is all about uh, hunter but on the flip side speaking of flip on the flip side hunter is going after the irs because he says look there's some irs agents in there that revealed my personal information and they never should have so we're going to talk about those two things but before we do that it's going to take just a moment you know of meditation see how this goes. So Hunter Biden. Well, let's do uh, three cards right away. Is he going to be found guilty on the uh, gun uh, charges? Three cards. One, two, and three. Is he going to be found guilty on those gun charges? First card up. Oh, I've got to count them. I forgot. These cards aren't clearly marked. So we've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, is this nine? Nine of wands. Uh, these are swords, I'm sorry. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of swords. The reason you know it's swords, if you look down here, you see the, uh, what is this called? This little guard here for your hand, the hilt of the sword, I suppose. But that's the one going straight up there. And then, so that's the number nine, and then you have all the other ones here. Swords, nine of swords. And uh, now my brain has gone uh, blank on me, so I can't remember what the Nine of Swords is supposed to be. So I'm gonna cheat and look here. Oh yeah, of course, the Nine of Swords is nightmares. So, um, typically depicted in the uh, Rider Waite deck is a guy lying on a bed with nine swords uh, above him. So it's nightmares. So Hunter Biden, is he gonna get uh, you know, convicted of this gun situation? And the first card up is nightmares. Next card up is, okay, let's see what we've got here. We've got a, this is the male page 
of swords. What's interesting about this deck is there's a female page and there's a male page. There's a female knight and a male knight, some different things like that, which add up to the extra cards. But anyway, so this is the male page of swords. And at this time, when these cards would have been popular, a male page would certainly have been not very important, but more important than a female page, if there were even were such a thing. But the male page of swords, so this is a low value messenger, okay? Bring um, uh, messages, swords, by the way, are truth, justice, rules, and law for me. And uh, so he's bringing a weak message of, of, of uh, law, fairness, truth, justice here. Male page, this is uh, Hunter Biden. His case uh, about the law here is pretty weak considering what he's done. Um, of course, you know, in the lawsuit, they can only consider what he's being accused of, not the totality of what his uh, crimes may be, just the, the one that's on a trial. And then the final card, will he be... Um, I want to be guilty is a two, four, six, eight, ten of uh, pentacles. Pentacles are value. Uh, ten of pentacles is happy family. And I'm going to tell you something. This is telling me, and I don't believe this, but this is what the cards are saying to me: is that his uh, rich familial history is going to be the final um, decider in this somehow. So it's a nightmare for him. He's got a weak. Um, amount of value regarding the uh, truth, justice, rules, and law, but his uh, rich familial um, connection is going to have some determination in this, as a matter of fact. Um, is he going to do jail time? Let's see what that says. Is he going to do jail time uh, regarding this gun felony situation? Will he do jail time? Three more cards. Okay. One. One from here, I think. Two, three, four cards came out. I'm going to use them all. I don't usually do that. I usually uh, bend to the whim of the cards, but I'm going to do it today. So will he do jail time on this gun uh, situation? So this is an Ace of Pentacles. This is a great big offer of value. Next one up, Two of Pentacles, weighing the value. Oh, interesting. Three of Pentacles. This is a one, two, three, four, five, six of one. These are wands. So six of wands is um, victory. Oh, that's interesting. Is, is it victory? Let me make sure because it could be the six of swords. Wands, six of wands. Yeah, it is a success victory. But the last card is uh, the knight of cups. You can just see, if you look really carefully, this is a cup right here. I'll try to do the outline of it. It's a very ornate sort of a covered cup if you this would be the top of it this is the bottom of the cup this knight okay is holding the bottom of the the cup in one hand and a knight will fight for his uh job his remit what he's been sent to do he will fight for that and he's carrying this huge um out of proportion cup of compassion this knight is so i'm asking if he's going to do jail time so let's read it all again this is saying there's a lot of value here to deal with. This is weighing the value of, of the situation. This is, um, and remember, it's going to be, a, I think, a jury. I don't think it's going to be a judge. It's going to be a jury that's going to decide this. This is the Six of Wands, which is victory. So I have to say that this is going to be victory in the favor of who? Of Hunter Biden, who comes in as a knight carrying some compassion. Interesting. So it looks like that's the familial value somehow that's going to help him out and means no he's not going to do jail time so there's that uh, now let's talk about the flip side of this thing where hunter biden is suing the internal revenue service because they uh he says those two agents were uh, revealed his personal information that they never should have of course the agents will say what they did uh, was go by the rule and they saw something they had to speak out on and so they shared it but did they go outside of the what they would be their normal routine did they tell people they shouldn't have told if you think something's doing wrong at work you go to your boss or you go to the head of your work and you report that thing but if you go out into the lunchroom and paint a sign and say uh, this person is doing this wrong that's not what you should have done okay so so Hunter Biden is saying that the agents of the IRS, and when I say agents, I don't mean like spy agents, I mean people who work for the IRS, maybe they're investigators even, I'm not sure, but they um, uh, violated uh, his um, rights in regard to the secrecy of his returns, I suppose. So um, will Hunter 
uh, get some satisfaction from that lawsuit. Three cards. One, two, three. Will Hunter get some sort of... Um, okay, one, two, three, four, four, six, seven of cups. Wow, my brain is just uh, gone today. Six of cups. I'm going to have to look it up again. Six of cups, seven of cups. Uh, seven of cups, which I thought I was just looking at here. Yes, yeah, seven of cups is right here. Seven of cups. Uh, greater choice of anything. Daydreaming. That's interesting. Oh, yeah. So seven of cups is just um, kind of illusion and delusion. So there's lots of compassionate issues here to be dealt with. Is he going to get satisfaction from that? Maybe not. Uh, one, two, three, four, four, six, seven, eight, nine of cups again is a difficult position, emotional position to be in. And then the final card oof, is the tower card. And this is, um, you can see the tower right here. It's just come apart. Will Hunter get satisfaction from that? Since we're, if we were talking about the IRS, then this tower card would denote uh, some sort of collapse for the IRS situation. But this um, is Hunter. And I don't think he's going to get any satisfaction out of that IRS suit whatsoever. Um, I think it's going to be it. I think that's all I'm going to have on Hunter Biden. And um, if something occurs to me, I'll make another video on that. But we're done here. Hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. Hang on. So this is the Carrie Vale Visconti 15th Century Tarachi deck. And they're beautiful cards. They're big cards. The uh, container they come in is really um, amazing. And there's a nice little rundown on what the cards are about here because they are, in fact, uh, kind of special. Now, uh, like I said, this is sturdy. The guidebook inside is really good. I mean, it gives you some very good um, uh, history and then, of course, uh, ideas for divination of the cards. And uh, it is in full color also. Uh, and this is by uh, Theory DePaulis and Stuart R. Kaplan, who is uh, from of tarot fame, Stuart R. Kaplan. Now, so good book. The box, like I said, is great. Cards are big. And the deal with the cards is this. There's extra cards in this deck. You can see that the back of them is pretty distinct and I like noticing the back because from this you can tell whether your cards are going to be upright or inverted. Okay, so right now you can see that with this these two blotches down at the bottom of the of the of the card that you know this is going to be upright. And of course if those two blotches were at the top of the card, then you'd know well that's the hangman, so it's not a good uh, example because he looks uh, wrong. Then you'll know that it's inverted. So Blotches at the top, uh, inverted. Blotches at the bottom, the way they should be. Now, the extra cards, because there are 86 cards here. And uh, this is from the 15th century. It's also known as the, the Visconti di Madroni uh, tarot. So let me count these off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And here's why I, I put these cards out ahead of time. The extra cards are these. Um, in the Major Arcana, or the uh, uh, Trump cards, the number two of the uh, Trump uh, deck is usually the Pope S or the High Priestess. But in this deck, it's called Charity. And this is how it looks like. So this is Charity. So it's the number two of the Major Arcana. It's usually the Pope or the High Priestess, or the Pope S, rather, or the High Priestess. And in this one, it's called Charity. Now, the number five in this deck, which is typically, in other decks, the Pope or the Hierophant. Now, in this deck, it's Faith. Okay, and so this is faith, the number five card. And then the number 17 card, which in other tarot decks is the star card. In this deck, it's hope. Okay, so you can tell it's a star a little bit if you kind of remember to look up here when you come across this card and it's hope. Then in the major, or rather in the uh, pip cards or the, the suit cards, there's, uh, of course, you have swords, wands, pentacles, and cups. But in this deck, there are, and you know, you have knights and you have pages. But in this deck, you have male and female knights and male and female pages. So in this uh, deck of swords, you have the male of knights and the male, uh, the female of knights. And then you have the uh, male of pages and then the female of pages. Okay, so those are some of the differences in this deck. And so you've got 86 cards to deal with instead of the regular um, the cards that you would otherwise have. Now, to look at them, they're amazing. I've got my cheat sheet up here to tell me what I'm supposed to say about these cards. Um, these, as you can see, they're huge. And some of them are, you know, not so intuitive. You can tell from looking at them what they are. But others of them 
are not very intuitive, and so you really kind of need to know your uh, your system before you start using the cards. And I like to lay them out like this, just so that you get a good idea of what different cards look like. These cards are actually, let's see, I'm going to tell you what we've got here. They're part of a collection at Yale University at Connecticut's uh, Manuscript uh, Library, and these were painted for the Duke uh, Filippo Visconti before 1447. And so that's all the pertinent information. Interesting cards, kind of big. They can be cumbersome to use, but it's something different. And I, this is kind of the last uh, purchase I've made uh, for cards. And because um, I didn't know, I just like to keep uh, some unusual cards in my scheme of things. Well, coming back tomorrow, I'll be doing it all again. So, ciao for now.